Hey guys, today I got a special video for you. 10 weapons you need before Destiny 2 Shadow Keep. Be aware this is player versus an enemy, but if we get 30 likes on this video, I will make another 10 weapons you need before Shadow Keep, but in the player versus player way. So if you if we get 30 likes and you subscribe, that is a nice deal for you if you want to get another video like this. So this is my first time doing it, so don't judge me, but if you are new, please subscribe and like for more Destiny 2 content. And yeah, so let's get into it. In this video, we're going to go over four questions on each of these weapons. What is it? How do you get it? Is the catalyst required? And what's its versatility? Remember, these are ordered like worst to best these are just ordered 10 weapons you need before forsake for shadow keep so yeah it's just that so don't think it's like best or worse so the first weapon is kind of an obvious one it's outbreak perfected so what is it it's a pulse rifle really good one how do you get it you get it from the zero hour this is kind of like a quest line and then you get it from the zero hour mission and then the catalyst two from like a heroic version and doing these like puzzles so yeah is the catalyst required absolutely this thing does extra damage for the nanoids when you get it it is kind of a hustle trying to get this catalyst because it does take a lot of time to understand like take because it's kind of like a weekly kind of thing but being honest you can even just not have the catalyst at all but being honest the catalyst is kind of required but this gun is still amazing without it. In my in my opinion, this gun is super over the top. It's one of my favorite pulse rifles now in the game. Before the bad juju and everything. So it's really good on bosses. Nanoids does a lot of damage. If you pair this up with like one-eyed or something like that, you can get tons of damage. So yeah, what's its versatility? This is still a pulse rifle, of course, so you gotta get it's kinda like long range. So you have to like shoot a long target and it does amazing on the range. It's like the one of the best pulse rifles. The range is great. Everything about this gun is just super good. So I would recommend getting this gun out of all my guns, out of all the guns, because some of the guns I'm going to say now in like the list are kind of all luck, and this one's technically a guaranteed from doing a mission. So go on LFG if you don't have this and get a team together, because this gun is amazing. The next weapon is the bad juju. What is it? It is a pulse rifle, like the outbreak that we just did earlier. How do you get it? This gun is by unlocking 18 tributes in the tribute hall. I'm being honest, you could just pay for them because of the tribute hall glitch or stuff. So it's kind of like a little quest that you have to do. But you have to unlock 18 of the tributes to get this gun. Is the catalyst required? I'm going to say no. Because this thing that has a catalyst that makes it so it um increases the string of curses buff and the duration of it but being honest this thing doesn't really take down that much yellow enemy so it's kind of like a red bar kind of like a lost sector kind of gun that you would use or the like kill a lot of enemies at once but for yellow r enemies if you have that five times buff though it would do a lot of damage but if you got the it would just be a waste of time doing the catalyst and it, it it's not really as a good pulse rifle. I do en I do enjoy this thing because this thing, if you get to times five and you just have that moment when there's a yellow bar enemy and he's very low, you can totally destroy this thing and it, it goes nutty. But sometimes, more likely, this thing does not kill the the kill yellow bars at most. So I would not recommend using this at a lot of times. But I would you like for like missions I would use this thing. But if there's yellow bars, I would not recommend this. But again, I don't know why you would put this here instead of like a 1K in the bottom slot or something like that. But I'm going to say this gun is still amazing. You just ha you will have that moment where you're going to have this gun and this gun will go crazy on yellow bar enemies. And I would think that if you keep with this weapon, sometimes you might have some moments where you can kill yellow bars and get those string of curses buff and you can get up there. But if you want to go for the catalyst, you can. But I would just not recommend it because it's kind of be going to be like a waste of time. But it is still a really good gun. Which is versatility. If, of course, it's a pulse rifle, like the same thing. And it's kind of long range. But again, you could just use like Delarium or something to just take down the boss. But again, that's what I, I say for bad juju. And that's the second weapon. 
The next weapon is, of course, the Delirium that we just went over again when I just said. But this gun is amazing. It's a pinnacle weapon. What is it? Is a, It's a machine gun, kind of like an LMG. How do you get it? Now, you have to do a little quest line. I'm pretty sure. I haven't done this for a while, but I think you have to destroy Envoys and Primevals. That takes up to 100%, so that's a lot of matches that you got to play. And I think you have to reset your rank. I'm not totally sure on that, but I will put a tutorial on every weapon of how to get it in the description. So if you want to know how to get every weapon, I'll put those videos down below. So there's no catalyst, so there's no catalyst for this weapon. But again, this thing has the killing tally perk, which is amazing, which it when it damages an enemy, it reloads and it gets extra damage. Yeah, it's like amazing, dude. I love this perk. If you get this weapon, it's like amazing. I would totally go and recommend recommend this, but the matches that you have to play, because I played a lot of matches trying to get this thing, but this thing is amazing in, com in Crucible 2 at some times. I used it, I killed like three guys once with this thing. I love it. It's really good. What's his versatility? Again, it's a machine gun, so it's kind of like a short range, kind of like something like that, but you can always, like, short range, long range, but you can always use, like, something like Recluse or something like the do damage to the boss or something like that, whatever, whatever comes first, whatever is helpful with you, but this gun is really good, like an EP or anything like that. You can, like, do anything, but again... Uh, the delirium is a really great gun so if you want to go and get delirium right now i would recommend this because this is a good machine gun if you want to use like outbreak as your uh, as your primary and you want to use like a legendary really good but yeah whatever comes first but you can always use one to go or anything like that but you can use this gun if you feel like it the next weapon is 1000 voices now in my opinion out of all the guns in this list, this is the best gun. But it's, of course, a heavy slot, so you have to say something like that. But this thing is like the takedown of everything, adds, everything like that. What is it? It's technically like a trace rifle, but it's considered a fusion rifle. So I'm going to say fusion rifle with this one. How do you get it? This is pure luck, 10% from any chest in the last witch raid, which is very hard and very difficult to get. The, is there a catalyst? No, there is no catalyst for this weapon, but I think it will happen in year three, which will be overpowered like nuts. And what's its versatility? This thing is kind of like really big long range kind of weapon, and if you shoot it at yourself again, it will just kill you because of how explosive this beam of death is, which is one of the perks on this weapon. It's very overpowered. It's one of the overpowered heavies in this game. And it's very pure luck because they boosted it, I remember, from 5% to 10% on any chest from the Last Wish Raid, which is very luck to get this weapon. So I do not have it. But again, this gun is insane. So please, on strike bosses, on raid bosses, on anything, this gun is kind of unstoppable. In Gamma 2, on invaders, on anything. So if you want a great heavy and you get this pure luck gun, you need this before Shadow Keep because if you get this before Shadow Keep and fuse it, this gun is technically the best heavy in the game so far. So please go and get this weapon if you have luck. Go play the last witch raid, get someone on LFG, and try to get this weapon because this weapon is insane. Again, the one of the most insane get, like guns in the game at this point. So yeah, this is crazy. So yeah, the next amazing weapon is the loaded question. What is it? It's considered a fusion rifle, and it's very in the secondary slot, so it's very, really good. How do you get it? This thing is from doing a little quest, or not really a quest, but just kind of like a little, like three quest steps, where I think you gotta get a thousand arc kills, 500 fusion rifle kills. I'm not totally sure, guys, so don't think about me. Go in the tutorials down below, and I'll link them below, so I'm not really good at finding these weapons, because I found these back at, like, Forsaken on day one, so I don't really know that much, and I think you have to play like 50 Nightfalls, so don't judge me on that. You can go down below and look at the tutorial, but um, there's no catalyst for this weapon, of course, because it's a legendary. What's its versatility? This gun is kind of long range, and it's pretty long range. It won't, yeah, it's not really short range, so on bosses, on anything, public events, I recommend this too, because this gun is insane. 
this gun is like a really good well done gun though because of how amazing it is because it's like the best fusion rifle it's technically having like a main ingredient but you have that additional perk with like the full burst magazine thing which is kind of awesome too so it's kind of like a little extra fusion rifle when you have like an exotic heavy or primary and you just need like a fusion rifle on anything this gun is amazing on dps on anything if you get this up to 750 or 800 by shadow keep you're gonna love this weapon i i tell you again the versatility is of course long range so this weapon is recommended for shadow keep again and all of them so far we're halfway through the list the next weapon is of course a legendary primary because i want to we were just going over exotics so far so the neck this weapon what is it it is a hand cannon how do you get it this is pure luck not pure luck, but technically pure luck for perks on a on the menagerie runs. So you only get one chest now because of the chest um, glitch that happened throughout the whole last two months or month so far. So that's no longer on there. So it's kind of really harder now to get a god roll of any of the menagerie weapons. But I got this beforehand because I was doing it. But I got mass work on reload speed, and this thing is amazing in my opinion. With Eye of the Storm and Rangefinder, oh god, this thing is amazing. So on D on enemies, this is kind of like like remember what I said earlier. With you put one K on something, this thing is amazing. And put one K, and then you need like loaded question with a primary hand cannon, or for the Luna's Howl quest with this have Eye of the Storm, it actually makes the hitbox bigger, and I can just get precision kills all the time. Which makes it like the best hand cannon I ever in the Crucible to in PvP and PvE. Because of how amazing it is, I totally recommend this gun before Shadow Keep because there used to be like Midnight Coop and DFA when before Forsaken and those used to be the hand cannons in my opinion. For before Shadow Keep it's gonna be like one of those hand cannons for Ostringer. So in my opinion, Ostring is one of the good weapons. Does it have a catalyst? No, it does not. What's its versatility? This thing is a hand cannon, of course, so this is long range and precision kills, of course, but not really short range. You can do short range, but you usually could use like an SMG or something against a lot of enemies if you were going to do that, but yeah. So this gun is my Ostringer. That's the next weapon. This weapon is one of my favorites, the Recluse. What is it? It is in a legendary SMG in the secondary slot with that requires primary ammo so yeah so not secondary ammo how do you get it now this is rewarded to you if you get the fabled in the glory playlist on even in only one season now on so this came out in season of the drifter so if you got to fabled last season or this season you would be award uh awarded this gun which is amazing because it has this perk called master of arms which dominates over everything because of how amazing it is it makes it so if you get a kill the damage and the reload speed are extended and it makes it just like you can rapidly kill any enemy at once and it just makes it like that top tier weapon against yellow enemies it's still really amazing if you get that perk active on them and is there a catalyst no there is not but what's its versatility so this gun is kind of like a long range weapon but it can still work at short range because this thing is kind of a short range weapon so you don't need to go as far into the enemy as possible but this gun is like one of my favorites though because of how hard it was to get to fabled once because i'm not really that good at competitive but it was still amazing just to have this weapon because this weapon is insane because look at that damage on the buffs and the enemies it just goes like insane on blights on strikes on bosses like if you want 1k you should put recluse in your secondary slot like, I know people might use Luna's Howl and stuff like that, but if you're going to use Recluse, if you don't have Luna's Howl, then with the quest line or anything, this gun is a great secondary if you just want uh, exotic primary or exotic heavy, like we said before. This thing is amazing and get against everything. So please use this weapon because this weapon is very hard. I know that some people don't really play PvP a lot, but um, go on LFG. If you can't find people, just get some of your friends on anything on like carries you could always look for carries up on anything i'm not pretty sure with carries but yeah you could just search up carries but this thing is insane again i'm telling you guys 
not really a big thing on yellow enemies, I said. I'm sorry, like yellow enemies, but if you get that perk active, it does do a lot of damage on those enemies, like a bar, two bars. Each time, if you just get another kill, you can kill the enemy. So, yeah, this is the next weapon. The next weapon is, of course, Mountaintop. This weapon is a primary grenade launcher, and it's insane. How, what is it? Again, primary grenade launcher. How do you get it? This thing is awarded from getting a nice triumph done that needs you to do 100 final blows with a grenade launcher and uh, any crucible match. You have to have triple, uh, get triple kills to 100%, so that's trajectory calculated, I'm pretty sure, medals that you have to do, and then rapid two kills at once or kill two enemies rapidly with a grenade launcher which is the next thing and it's a triumph called the pursuit of honor and then when you finish that you have to hit fabled in the glory playlist this is um this is in my footage but again this is one of my favorite youtubers i will link him down below if you want to check him out i just love i don't have mountaintop but again here's his footage again i'm just going to say this gun is a really good weapon but if you're not into competitive glory or whatever in pvp the the recluse or this weapon is not really suited to you because these two are based on like being good and getting a good team together for pvp but again yeah so is there a catalyst no and what's its versatility it's kind of like long range and yeah if you're like short range you kill yourself and it's a really good uh grenade launcher for the primary slot and i would recommend this if you're a good grenade launcher fan with fighting lion totally go for this and it's amazing on dps and raids and everything for that too the next weapon is of course another grenade launcher which is called windigo gl3 i'm pretty sure what is it again a grenade launcher how do you get it? This gun is awarded from doing a huge quest in Vanguard. Not a huge quest, but it's very minimal with just a few quest steps that you need to do. So it's not as hard. Uh, I'm pretty sure you have to get a hundred uh, or five or a thousand and five hundred uh, kills with the grenade launcher. Five hundred multi kills, and then and I think I, I forgot the other part. But remember, don't come to me about how to get the weapons because you can look down in the tutorial in the description if you want to know how to get every weapon in that I'm listing right now. This gun, there's no catalyst by the way. This gun is amazing. What's the versatility? This thing is a long range weapon, not a short range weapon, because it will kill you, like again with the 1k. I would totally recommend this weapon out of a lot of these grenade launchers, because if you don't have 1k and you don't get that luck on Last Wish or anything, this is a great grenade launcher. But if you don't have like a Swarm of the Raven God Roll or something like that from Iron Banner, because there will be one more Iron Banner. And by the way, the Swarm of the Raven is the next gun, the last gun. But again, if you do not have, like, if you have Iron Banner, and Iron Banner will have one more time, and if you just want to get this gun, this is a great grenade launcher for any encounter, mostly any boss, and it's a great legendary grenade launcher if you want to use Outbreak for your primary. It's really good. The next weapon is, of course, what I just said. It is Swarm of the Raven God Roll. Now, I don't want to say God Roll because you don't need a God Roll. You just need a Swarm of the Raven with spike grenades, technically. But yeah, again, God Roll, whatever. But so, how do you. What is it? It's a grenade launcher, technically like Wendigo. But so, yeah, so it's pretty good. How do you get it? This thing is just from a random drop on an Iron Banner match or Iron Banner Angram from Lord Saladin, which will, by the way, there will be one more Iron Banner for the season of Opulence, but we just don't know which day that week that is at this point. Is there a catalyst? No, there's no catalyst for this weapon. What's the versatility? Again, this is kind of like long range, which I said before. And yeah, it's a really good weapon. I would recommend doing this for anything because it's like really well done. It's a great grenade launcher. If you don't have time for when to go, if you don't want to do it, then if you get luck and get spike grenades on this thing, it's technically like that. It's really good. So yeah, with overpower, with rift, one eyed, anything like that, barricade, it's super well done. So please and go and get this weapon because this weapon is a really, really good weapon that you should go and grind for. Before we end the video, there will be two honorable mentions in this like list that i did and i will do this if we get 30 likes for the pvp video and i will do two honorable mentions there so for this honorable mention the first one is of course threat level this shotgun is really good i'm being honest with you threat level and horror story was really good that i used to do and i would like that but those are both primaries so i couldn't do a mix with them but again 
This gun is amazing threat level. It's technically like the next Aikilos. If I was going to make this list over again or make it like 15 guns, I would totally put that this weapon in the game. And I would love everything about this weapon. This weapon is technically like if you melee, the, me the damage and the reload speed increases, which is technically kind of like Aikilos. And it's just amazing. It's like the next Aikilos for year two. And I love this weapon. So don't think that all those 10 weapons are like... The weapon that I totally picked. I had to make a list, so I made these two honorable mentions for the guns. So the first one is, of course, threat level, which I totally agree. And you can put like a pulse rifle as your secondary, like you, you see here, is a secondary pulse rifle uh, address. Keep on forgetting the name. But I'm just gonna still do the four questions for this gun. What is it? It's a shotgun. How do you get it? This gun is from Scourge of the Past. It's probably luck from each encounter. Uh, I got a god roll, by the way. So it's really good. There's no catalyst, by the way, for this weapon. And what's his versatility? A shotgun. So this thing is technically short range, and you gotta get close to your enemy to kill this guy. But it's, again, a really good weapon that you should go and grind for, because it's, like, really well done. And, yeah, what's his versatility? Again, you gotta go next to your uh, enemy or boss, and you just have to melee, and you do tons of damage. Before we start off... Nice, thanks for credit to the footage for Sweet Circle for this footage, by the way, for this gun. The next weapon, the last honorable mention, is Anarchy. This weapon is amazing. The DPS on this thing is insane, and it's one of my favorite weapons. So again, what is it? It's a grenade launcher, exotic grenade launcher in the heavy slot. How do you get it? This gun is awarded from doing Scourge of the Past last encounter, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, last encounter, last phase, and it's pre pure luck for this. I think it's again 10% like 1k. Is there a catalyst? No, there's not a catalyst for this weapon yet. What's his versatility? This gun is just long range technically on the, again, like long range, short range, but it's more long range because you will die if it was short range. Again, this gun is one of my favorite DPS weapons. I just didn't want to put there because I wanted to put like bad juju because a lot of people, this is, I didn't want to put based like exotic luck on these on this list a lot because it's all luck and luck and luck and i still want to do that because no one would everyone would be like this list stinks because i can't be awarded any of these weapons because they're all pure luck but again this weapon and threat levels to the two honorable mentions for this gun and i totally appreciate this gun is amazing so go and try and get this after you do last wish or anything for this weapon so that pretty much sums up the video Together, I all did these weapons all in order from Outbreak Prime, Bad Juju, 21% Delirium, 1K, Austring, A Loaded Question, Recluse, Mountaintop, Swarm of the Raven, Windigo, and yeah, that pretty much sums it up with the two honorable mentions also being Threat Level and Anarchy. I hope you enjoyed this video, by the way. If you did, please subscribe and like for more Destiny 2 content. If you are new, please subscribe also again, because I do a lot of Destiny 2 content, and I hope you appreciate this video that I did. I thought I would change it up, but if we get 30 likes on this video, again, I will do 10 weapons you need before Destiny 2 Shadowkeep, but in the player versus player perspective, I already have my list. But yeah, let's try to do that. So thank you guys for all the support for watching this video, and yeah, I will see you guys on that next one. Bye.